Hey guys, what is going on? Um, so I've been meaning to do a video for the last couple of days because um, I don't know. Recently, I've noticed a trend. By recently, I mean the last couple of months, maybe even years, and um, just picking up on it now. But this trend of people being like, "This is unprecedented. This is um, this is something the world has never seen before. This is um, this is something that uh, never happened until now." And as a student of history, I have taken a step back and been like, oh, are we sure about this? Are we, are we sure that we've never in, ha like fake news never happened in the world or that um, we've never experienced a pandemic or we've never experienced government overreach, stuff like that. Like people are like, oh, you know, it, it's all these things that are happening. And um, it got me thinking about um, history and uh, how we perceive it, what what goes on with it, what uh, our thoughts are of it. Sorry, I just feel like there's like a spot there. Um, you know, how we interpret it and everything else like that. And the thing is, is that like in, from the time we go to school, we, uh, we just interpret history as some linear thing, right? It just, you know, you're able to sit there and be like, okay, this happens here, this happens here, this happens here, ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum, ba bum. Um, it's linear, right? It's this idea that there's a rhythm, there's a cycle, there's all these other things and everything. And it's so easy to look at it as a timeline. We're able to look at these points and be like, this happened now, this happened now, this happened now. Maybe it drops down a little further and everything else like that, but everything is encapsulated on this timeline. History doesn't work like that. It's uh, it's all encapsulating. It's all, it's all bearing and everything else like that. So like, when we look at things, it's so easy to be like, okay, something's happening here, something's happening there, and they're not connected. They're they're separate and everything else like that. And maybe if we even hold it up to light, history looks transparent. History is something that uh, we can see through. And if we were to look at both sides of history, yeah, fuck yeah. History is absolutely transparent because we're able to see both sides of an issue instead of just one that we're presented. But that's the thing about history is that we are never presented with both sides. We're shown one side and then maybe when people feel like it or if people do research or look into things that the other side is seen. And um, more often than not, people are like, yo, I know history, I know this happened, I can talk about the Sumerians, I can talk about the Babylonians, I can talk about the Chinese, I can talk about the Mongolians, you know about all those things. But can you talk about the way that they're connected? So what we do with history is that we take an event. So if we can't do those things, if we're, if we're so bombarded, if we're like looking at it like, oh my gosh, wait, so you're telling me that at the time of Kublai Khan, was sitting there invading Poland. And at the same time, like all of these things were happening. Everybody might look at history and like, <laughs> fuck that. It's ridiculous. I can't keep track of it all. But sometimes we look at history and we're like, okay, this is happening on this side. This is happening on this side. And sometimes these times come together. Now that transparent history that we were so confident about, so confident being like, oh my God, I get it, I understand it, becomes more opaque. And every event that happens becomes smaller and more uh, concrete. And then it becomes smaller. And then it becomes smaller to the point that we, um, only are able to fixate on one point of set history without actually understanding that history is unfolding beyond it or underneath it or, or anywhere. So we look at this one point in history and we're like, oh my God, like that's what's happening or, or and that's why we get to the point where we're like, this has never happened before. This is so new. And it's like, had we learned, had we unfolded all of this history, had we seen the bigger picture, had we known about all of these incredible events that happened and maybe put the pieces together, we would look at history a little differently. But we don't because we 
are more aware of one event over the other. And, um, and rather than putting these pieces together, we keep on taking these pieces apart and instead of finding the ways in which they are connected, we're finding ways in which we are disconnected from one another. And, um, you know, we forget that because this has happened, then this, this, and this has happened. Automatically, we think that some tragic event, some, some horrible pandemic or anything else like that has, is an isolated moment in history that it is only this specific moment in time that this event has transpired rather than looking at it like, oh shit, like, you mean to tell me that other people have experienced this in the history of the world and that um, my experiences might not be any different than theirs? And that's where we lose empathy. That's where we lose sight. That's where we lose our um, objectivity. And we bring in all of these emotions because we think that it's only happening now. It's only happening to us. It's not happening to anywhere else, to anywhere else. And um, so maybe, when we look at history, when we look at the events, we can take what's happening here, we can take what's happening there, and we can bring it together. And instead of making it complex and opaque and and um, un, and non-transparent, is that a word? I don't really, I don't know. We can look at it and see the ways in which we are connected. We can see the lines in which that are formed in our lives, the webs that we weave, all of these things instead of the singularity we can see the um oh my god for the sake of me i'm losing the uh the uh the word for it the duality the um the multiplicity of it and if we were to look at something and we were to look at it as a whole instead of just a part then maybe we can see how we're actually a part of something bigger a part of something more rather than um, not looking at it that way. And I think that that is what's happening right now. It's to our detriment that we have all of these people being like, oh my God, this is the first time that this is happening in all of the history of the world. And if we were to take a step back and we were to look at things through a broader scope instead of fixating on a single point, we can have a greater understanding. Maybe we can even come together to find solutions rather than expect people in power or people that lead us, um, let's be fair, lead us, um, for answers. Um, maybe more of the answers when we step back and we see the communities in which we reside, we see the, uh, the history in which we live, will help us understand more. So what I'm saying is that History is not linear. History is not, yes, it might be cyclical and everything else of that, but the more we fold it in on itself, the more that we make it smaller, the more we make ourselves smaller. And what we need now more than ever is this expansiveness, this, this idea to see the bigger picture, to see what is happening, to see what is unfolding before our eyes instead of just settling for it, we know that we're meant for so much more. So look at history, do your research. And that's another thing as well. So many people were like, oh, I need, I need answers. We have these fucking phones in our hands that tell us these answers. And with just a little bit of research, we can sort through what is right and what is wrong, what is truth from what is lies. And that's the same thing with history. You can be told certain things and you can disseminate, not disseminate, you can discriminate, whatever. I'm such at a loss for words. I'm a terrible, as a writer, I'm a terrible person to uh, decide what the right word is. That's why I spend so many time, so much time writing. But, oh, discern. We can discern what is the truth from what is lies. And so like, you know, stop looking at history as existing on a single plane and start looking at history as all of the layers that take place, start looking at history as all of the things that can be revealed rather than what can be hidden. And that is where we'll be really successful as human beings. So um, maybe that helps, maybe that doesn't help. Maybe you're just like, you're a crazy lunatic that um, has no idea what you're talking about. And maybe you're right too. 
But uh, that's the thing about history, you know, you read, you read a little more of it, like, you know, you can look at it and be like, oh, Newton developed these laws of physics. And still the man sat catatonically on his bed, not moving. And it wasn't until somebody nudged him to find the answers that they were looking for in the universe that he actually shared the answers that he already found. So, um... Maybe that's the way it is, you know? Maybe we're all looking for that little nudge to get us where we need to be instead of where we are right now. So keep looking, Just keep searching. Don't stay on that single plane. History has depth. Don't stay in the shallows. See you guys around.